There it is. Blinding jab right there to set this right hand. You see Rice. Rice was throwing his right hand, kept his head on the line, but Ajaba, he threw his right hand and got his head off the line. Here it is again. Beautiful sequence right there from Ajagba. You know, he, he hit him actually when he was coming in. You know, he hurt him. He hurt him pretty badly there, you know. But everything is off the jab. That's what I Deadly beats and killer him softly. Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Blog Center, the home of Ninja Boxing. And like I always say, please, if you're new to the channel, make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe button right now and also go to the notification bell icon. Click it and select all. So interpret open your bang a new exclusive video you never really be notified. To my ninja brothers and sisters worldwide. Now God I take big one. Make a lot of video share, subscribe. Sharing is caring. The more you share this content, the more we're going to bring you more bangers. Like you know, say BBC and the home of Ninja Boxing. Now, where we for the given now, waiting day to turn around the new Ogbongi Tori for town. So, I beg, make gonna support the channel. Support, 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 support. Support your fellow Niger Niger Nigerian. Like it, subscribe. Click the notification bell icon so that anytime I drop banger like that, I'm going to see him. Now we'll be the first to receive one. So let us get straight to it. F.A. Jagba, aka the one and only, and also the Nigerian Nightmare, the Machine, the Ugly Monster. He has a lot of nicknames now that I've given him. So people, some people call him modern names right now. But let's get to it. Um, of course, one defeated um Jonathan Rice. Okay, via unanimous decision in a very interesting, exciting and connective about like i said before i did my reaction i had some things to say you know because a jackbar for me um did all he could all all he could to win but at the same time kind of disappoint a lot of people some people expect him to knock um uh, you know the rice house including myself okay I wasn't expecting Ajaba to go. I was I wasn't I wasn't expecting to see Ajaba go the distance with Jonathan Rice. Okay. But I know Ajaba did his best after what I just heard that he fought with an injured elbow. Okay. So I also heard that I was told that he sparred something like a day before um clash with uh jonathan rice but the main key the main topic the main subject is that he fought with a an injured elbow and still beat jonathan rice that's why it kind of looks sloppy that's why he couldn't use the, he threw the jab as much as he as he wanted to and that could be the reason uh what's the take on this star job boy Well, my take on this is, um, you know, I don't know where this is coming from. If it's a Jaguar, fans, I, I would advise you not to make any excuses. No, 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 not Jaguar fans. It's coming from you know, a very good. I, it's coming. It's coming from a very good source. You know, a very good source. So no, not this. This guy's not a Jaguar. I think he's a Nigerian. Uh, uh a Nigerian. What? Boxing analyst or some sport analyst or something like that. I don't think you would lie about it. Well, it, it, it doesn't even matter. But I, I tell you something right now. I've been I, I've been paying attention to this sport for long. This is not going to be a Jaguar's last time to look back. You, you don't want to keep making excuses for him every time he looks back. Just, just keep it under wraps. Just don't make any excuses when the fighter gets injured. Ah, Jaguar did not say this, brother. So you have to understand yeah, that I got the, I got I I got the news. Ajaba did not say that. Ajaba reacted to this on his Instagram where he said, listen, he knows it didn't look good, 
but it's gonna it's keep, he wants to keep improving and all that but you cannot yeah, you know, know like said, cover cover that. cover the truth you know what i mean sometimes yeah continue yeah, bro. that's what i said a job or not you don't want to you don't want to like i wouldn't i wouldn't want to come out and say like my favorite fighter like oh he's hurt like I, every single time he looks bad they're gonna look at look at wilder right now people are going in on him continuously every single time he looks bad in the fight he's making up excuses you know after one after another oh i got the, the ortiz fries uh i was sick I, I had a flu i had a 10 degree fever the second fight oh I, I i was injured coming into that fight the tyson fury fight oh my i, I hurt my hand I, don't like just you you don't want to be that guy that people are going to be like oh, so you're always injured coming into a fight oh the or while there's he's always injured coming don't 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 be that guy man don't he looked he 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 th there was some good takeaways then there was some bad takeaways he looked good at the same time he looked bad that's it you know a job is gonna improve just give him the opportunity to improve don't make excuses for him you know a fight a fighter is eventually gonna pick up an excuse and he's gonna start using it you don't want we don't want we as a fan of him you, we don't want him to to fall into that category Give him the opportunity to improve. Continue to praise the man. That's all. Well, Ajaba has never made any excuse before, especially when it comes to being injured and, and all that. But you have to say the truth. He was injured. Okay. If you if you you can tell, I, I I saw a clip today. You know that but that I, I that I didn't really focus on why watching. The, the bout because it's one thing watching about you know when you watch about you just want to see your your favorite your favorite guy win okay i saw when he i think it was around the second round or so when he hit um uh jonathan rice and Jonathan rice wobbled but he couldn't he couldn't he couldn't continue the, the you know the the pressure if he had continued that pressure he would have gotten him out of there but i noticed that he couldn't do that because probably the elbow was kind of affecting him in a way and he just wanted to be relaxed and this was just like a sparring session i mean for a jugba and he got tagged a lot of times you know um even he got tagged more than usual even against alayar the mirrors and it wasn't tagged like that and both of them were going back and forth a jugba did not really implement um i mean um a, de a solid defense you know against J jonathan rice but at the same time, that might be the reason why that did not happen. I don't think I was a guy that make excuses. A guy that don't, he doesn't even talk about, you know, you know, he, he being injured. But people in the camp, people that people that knows him, you know, because he's not a he's not a guy that talks a lot. You know, what I mean, when it comes to making excuses, what excuse have you seen a Jabba made? Just tell me one. If it's coming from his camp, you might as well chalk it up as that. I told, I, I, bro, bro, it's coming from a source, a source like a source, a, 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 a source who is like investigating things and all that, asking questions. People ask questions, and then some people say it. But Ajakba himself has never made any excuse, so that's why. That guy because, yeah, but uh, you, 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 you have to keep these kind of things. You have to keep them quiet. You know. Just, just as Wilder's people are coming out with these excuses, and I'm saying, how come Wilder doesn't have control of his camp? He can't let these things out. You know, it, it causes a problem with everybody. Like, oh, now you're having problems, this and that. Like, and you're fighting. Why, why didn't you pull out of the fight? It, 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 people are gonna, people. There's some people are gonna believe you, and then the, some people are gonna call you uh, the the wolf in, in sheep's clothing. Whoever the source is, keep keep the lid tight on that man. Don't let don't don't let it go. It's just simple. Well, Nigerians, Nigerian journalists don't don't actually keep things tight. You have to understand that. We they spit it out, and it's nice sometimes. But at the same time, I like I, I know Ajabo is not is not gonna make excuses, especially when it comes to uh, fighting and all that. And whenever it doesn't look good, because in his official statement, he said, "Listen." I'm improving, so I'll be back soon. Is what it is. Stay blessed, young guys. You know this was a very good, uh, I mean, session though. And uh, like the video, share, subscribe. 
how do you guys feel? Did you guys notice Ajagba injury, Ajagba's injury during the bout? Or not? For those of you guys that watched it, or like, are you um, in support of what Tajagba has stated, saying, listen, this sort of story should just be squashed and kept swept swept under the rock. So, go follow me on Instagram at Boxing Block Center. Now, God, I take back now. Make you follow me. Now, only we they give you now, I'm get to read about Nigeria for others and all those things. What do they do here? No other boxing channel they do. Huh? But I want to see more boxing channel for Nigeria, from Nigeria. You know, but they don't mean, they don't even, like, I don't even know how many would be safe. You have a day, a day, to, a, a boxing talk with a day, but a day, not like, they cover, you know, UK's, and America to the like that, not be about Nigeria or Africa, so like that once in a while. So, bless now, let me want to do and I want, I want more for now. You understand? So, if if, if, if you if any of you get channel, we'll be saying I want to promote, no one day into this boxing stuff. Let me know if you have now promote them. That's so. Thanks to you all. I appreciate you guys. I love you all, and God bless you all. Cheers, guys.